Hey there, everybody. Welcome to a kind of a micro episode of the Civil War podcast, a microsode. <laughs> uh, I am your host, Tim. And this is Brian. And we're just going to get this is about a like five, six minute show here where we're just going to kind of announce like, the long awaited. I know you've been waiting for it. I mean, 2020 has been a long year, but what we will have is our annual Civil Gore horror movie challenge. Fourth annual, Tim. Can you believe that? Yeah. And this one's bigger and better than last year. This one is going to be a ton of fun. I've already actually started planning mine, which I'm getting a little bit of a head start on the planning, but we are going to release this to the masses this week so that you can start planning. And then on October 1st, you can start watching your films and trying to accumulate as many points as possible. And Brian, I'm not eligible for the prize pack, obviously, as a host. No, as, and- as am I not as well. But we just do it for, for bragging rights. Right. But I can tell you that I am very confident that this year I am going to ace this challenge and get all 1,031 available points. Yes. If you see what we did there, we made that 1031, of That's course, right. when you finish it. I got really I got really creative this year, I think. But um, And once again, we kind of – what we did is we kind of uh, – everyone seemed to like last year's uh, format where – it's you know there there's challenges to meet. Um, it's not like you have to watch one per day. You just have to have 31 films within the 31 days. Um, we'll list the rules in a second here. But um, uh, first, we do want to thank, uh, of course, our, our good buddy Ken, who provided a lot of the ones from this year. We have some repeats from last year, um, but uh, we have a whole bunch of new ones. So let's just give the rules out as they stand right now. And we will say first, too, the, it will start on um, October 1st, and it ends on October 31st. So that's that's your time frame. We're giving it to you early, of course, like as Tim said, so you can prepare because preparation is key in this one, I think. <laughs> yes. So rule number one is you cannot watch more than 31 films to gain points. So only 31 up to 31 films will count towards your point totals. So once you hit 31 movies, you have to calculate all the points you got and that's your score. So you right. can't watch 40 films and try to get the remaining points that you had left over. Yeah, and I mean and of course too that 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 says that when you get like say you get all the points by after watching 20 movies, those you just still have to watch those 11 movies, you don't claim any objectives for it. That's all. And if for some reason you only get 20 films in, that's fine. You know, total up what the the best score that you have. Yeah, because um, yeah, because I mean, really, the the winner of this will be the one with the most points. It may, it may not be one thousand thirty one. That's the most you can get, but uh, maybe a lot of people have uh, struggles with this and they don't get it there. So the highest one wins. So you mm-hmm. just keep going. Don't don't give up. You know, if you don't think you can do get all the objectives. So the second rule though is, and this is the important one: you can only claim each objective once, but a single movie can count towards multiple objectives. And if there's one key rule. That's also a tip in itself. That's it. So that's why we like to tell it to you a little early because it'll give you about a, just under a week, I think. But um, but like like Tim said, that's key. Like you want to start planning because you could get one movie that – like I, I know already. I Just off the top of my head, I remember one movie that can actually claim four objectives already. And so that when you get movies like that towards the beginning, it makes it a lot easier and it takes a lot of the pressure off. Yeah, I'll give you the, I'll give you the pro tip. Start out finding movies that satisfy as many objectives as possible. So if you can find a movie that gets you five or six objectives in one right. bang, then that frees you up later on to have movies that satisfy fewer objectives. Starting out, I would recommend you try to find films that satisfy at least two objectives before you watch them. And then, of course, if any film satisfies more than two, that just is more cushion for you later on down the road. So... That's super, super important. It's not one film, one objective. One film right. can and should count for multiple objectives if you want to have any chance of winning. So rule three is this challenge is obviously on the honor system, so no cheating, which we would not expect our listeners to no, cheat in any way. Not. But uh, yeah, we do ask you to use the honor system. And some of these objectives can be interpreted. And if you can make a good enough argument, I will right. probably accept it. So uh, yeah. Just use your best judgment. And if you have any question as, as to whether a film satisfies our spirit of the objective, then just send us an email or a Twitter message or you know drop us a line somehow and we will uh, or post on the Facebook page and we can answer whether we'll give you a judge's ruling on it. 
But uh, and the reason why you want to win this. So here's the for, for the first time because now that we have merch this year, actually there will be a prize uh, for the first time, and that will be a Civil Gore gift merchandise gift pack. We're not sure what's in there yet, but uh, with our merchandise, it'll probably be fun. It won't be the shower curtain, most likely. So I know, <laughs> I know when you all saw Cody's shower curtain, uh, you all got jealous. But uh, probably won't be the shower curtain. But um, and it will be the highest score wins. Now, of course, uh, we have. I know our listeners are huge horror fans, and they're very adept at these challenges. So, of course, we could end up with seven entries that are all 1,031 points. Well, if that's the case, then we just do the raffle system. Simple as that. Yeah, and I have still some prizes left over in the prize closet that I may be able to throw into the mix as well. So, oh, uh, yeah, there's always him. always some hard goodies in there, even maybe a Blu-ray. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Paul Blart 2 is still on the monolith That's waiting right. to be we've, we've been given threatening away. It. <laughs> <laughs> the last and final rule is to be eligible for the prize, you need to submit the completed score sheet. So like Brian said, we will release the score sheets when this episode goes out so that you can go download it. You have to fill that out and submit it. You can't just say, hey, I got 800 points or whatever and expect us to believe it. We'll have to, although we trust you completely, we would like to see that completed score sheet because also... There might be some movies on there I want to watch, so I want to see. Uh, yeah. I want to see what you guys came up with and, and how creative you were. Yeah. Oh, and this isn't a rule, but we'll put this on the thing. Of course, we like to um, when when you do watch a movie, it's kind of fun. This is just a fun for everyone. You want to like uh, you know either tweet it out or put it on Instagram or something with the box art and just do a hashtag like uh, Civil Gore HMC number four. But we'll we'll all that instructions, that kind of details will be on your um your uh, document that you need to. Uh, to print out so i mean i guess real quick uh just we'll give you a couple of examples of what we mean by challenges for those who are not familiar maybe still don't know i guess we'll just read a couple tim we'll alternate a few here yeah so they range from some some of these are very general and and easy to get but the general ones are also the lowest point values so the lowest point value per challenge is 10 points and that's for something like uh, a vincent price movie Right. Or a movie featuring a vampire. Those right. are very general. There's hundreds of films maybe that could satisfy one of these generic objectives. So those are usually your 10-point type challenges. Right. And then we have another one which I, I want to highlight because it's for our good uh, buddies, Kim and Ket. Um, and that's one. There's a challenge this year. It's the first time. It's called Play It Again, Sammies. And that one is watch a film featured on the Kim and Ket Stay Alive Maybe podcast. So there, so there, there's some challenge here where you might have to do a little research. You may have to go check out their podcast, at least their feed for sure, and kind of see which movies they've done. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and they've they've been around now for, I think, like two years. So there's a lot to choose from for there. And, you know, so, so like that and that one just uh, off the top of my head, that is, I think, we're 20 points. So you see why that's a little bit more challenging because, um, you know, they've done a lot of movies that are popular that a lot of people have seen. So that's where, you know, that's where certain challenges get tricky because if they've seen it, a lot of times you have seen it. We'll go through some of these that are maybe a little vague uh one right. here is watch a folk horror movie and we right. called this uh challenge mid october instead of yeah. midsummer but uh <laughs> that's right we all have catchy names yeah. too for our little challenges so. but watch a folk horror movie and and again there's no clear rules as to what actually that constitutes you could probably make an argument either way but we, the spirit of it is we were looking for something like midsummer or wicker man or the witch something that has kind of like a maybe a folksy rural feel to it i don't know quite how to explain it but you got kind of one of those things you know when you see it so right. uh, that's uh that's that one if you have any questions um some of these like you'll see like this one the world according to jeff goldblum watch a horror movie featuring someone who has been in a movie with jeff goldblum so that does not mean that they had to have been in a horror movie with jeff goldblum they just had to have been in any movie with jeff goldblum so it's kind of a with those where you have right. uh we have a couple of them in there where we say watch a horror movie that has a person who also starred with this other person the movie they starred in with the other person doesn't necessarily have to be horror it just means they worked for, with that other person at some point in their career right and we could say it doesn't have to be necessary it could be an audible starring like if they did a voiceover with someone in a movie like an animated movie that counts one of the that i found really tricky is uh the drive-in never dies watch a horror movie featuring a guest who appeared on The Last Drive-In, that refers to the Joe Bob's The Last Drive-In on right. Shudder, who uh, doesn't die in the movie that you're watching. So 
Right. Uh, that, that's a little tricky. So some of these you have to do some research, especially for if God forbid you don't have Shutter, you'd have to go look up the list of the last drive-in guests and figure out how how you're going to do that. So uh, yeah, some of these are can get quite uh, research intensive. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, so when you hear this, just look on our Twitter feed uh, and Facebook page because we'll have the um, the drive links to to where you can get the download the instruction sheet and the your score sheet. So you can print that out and um, or I mean you could I guess save it to your own like Google Drive if you want to do it that way. Or I find printing it out is a lot easier. Just because then you can scribble and make notes and stuff. But uh, the score sheet will be nice because it'll give you um, all the the objectives, the point value, some um, some extra columns for notes and where you want to put your movie so you can really keep track of it. Yeah. So uh, if you guys have any questions after you get the rule sheet and the uh, challenge sheet, then uh, just please let us know and we will get right back to you. Yeah. So uh, I guess good luck, everyone, and uh, enjoy because this is remember it's all about fun and getting to watch a at least 31 horror movies that you haven't seen before. (laughs) All right. Good luck, guys. 